rebuilding can be daunting for those who have lost their homes due to fires that have been sparking all around our region as of late. We have Michelle Lorenzo live for us in Sun Valley on a property where two elderly women lived and their home burned down last week. Michelle, how does the owner plan to rebuild? Well, according to the family of the ladies that lived here, the owner does plan on adding a mobile home in its place. You can see the damage here. He was renting the property out to two local ladies, and he has fire insurance. Unfortunately, though, the former occupants do not have renter's insurance, and that also leaves them without a place to call home. You don't come home one day and think, oh, my house is going to burn down tomorrow. But unfortunately, it really can't happen to anybody. And it happened to Deidre Snyder's 94-year-old grandmother, Madge Cutler, and her 74-year-old mother, Melinda Potter, last Tuesday when a fire broke out near their home. I got a call from Melinda. She was frantic then, and she started describing what went on. She said she heard an explosion and something hit the roof. When she stepped out the back of the house, she said all that was on fire was all the trees out here and the back of the house. So she grabbed my mom and got her outside into the wheelchair. Washoe County Sheriff's Office says the fire appears to have started in the backyard of a home on Chimney Drive. Truckee Meadows Fire and Rescue is investigating the cause. Officials say two homes, five outbuildings, and three to five acres were burned. One firefighter was taken to the hospital, but officials say he was able to return to duty later that day. Madge Cutler was also taken to the hospital, but her son says she's in good condition. You know, she got out. She still keeps asking, you know, I don't have a home up there. No. <laughs> the 94, her mind gets a little sidetracked at times, but she's doing very well. She's actually very upbeat. For now, the two ladies are staying at a motel until they find a more permanent solution. My grandma and my mom, they didn't deserve this. Nobody deserves this. And now they're in an aftermath of a nightmare that they have to try and pick up from and move on from. It's costing them a lot to stay in this motel and, and it makes it tough for them. And they'd like to get into a house or apartment and be settled and have their life back. I mean, it's turmoil trying to live out of a bag. <laughs> and that's about all they had because they got out of here with the clothes they had on. Now, Snyder says they're thankful that a lot of friends and family have reached out to help. And if you'd like to help too, there is a GoFundMe page set up for them. We do have a link for that on our website and 2 News app. Covering Firewatch Live in Sun Valley, Michelle Lorenzo, 2 News.